Hello and welcome to another video with me, Ben Pearson. We are down here at London and we are outside St Paul's Cathedral and we are going to be reviewing this, the City of London's new Ford Focus dog van. So let's meet the man that drives this fantastic vehicle and it's Colin from Sea London Dog Unix. Colin. Hello mate, nice to see you again. Hello, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Right, tell us about your Ford Focus. Why have Seville and then gone to Ford Focuses for dog units? Well, firstly, um, it's the first time I've doing it today. We've right. only had it for two weeks. Um, so have you scratched it yet? Uh, I can't comment on that. I can't go, <laughs> Your boss is stood over there. Not he's while watching. he's watching. Um, we've gone to Ford Focus. They're a great all-round car. They're fitted out to our specification of what we want. Uh, and as you can see, Ford, reliable, and we can get the parts. Yeah, exactly. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to boost this up too much but this is a one litre eco boost and it's a hybrid now people might be going what are you using that as a dog vehicle for you've got to understand it's all location 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 there's no point having a 300 brake horsepower dog unit absolutely sat in traffic in the city centre of london when it might be deployed four or five times a day you've got massive fumes or something like that so you've got an eco it's good for environment it's good for longevity and the parts like i said are freely available yeah we're very much um, a, a big believer in the ecosystem, um, making sure that you know where we can. Now with the uh, ultra low emission zones, yep. we've got to make sure that we're compliant as well, yeah. and we're fully compliant with the uh, ultra low emission zone with this. So it's going to be fair for everybody, really, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. And not only that, you've got dogs in the back as well. Yes, so yeah, I've got two in the back at the moment. Flying around the corner at 160 miles an yeah. hour. I'm not saying you would do, but you don't want to have a dog sandwich on no, your car, no, do you? Uh, I, I don't want to be able to clear out any mess that's happened <laughs> after them. So no, we're not don't. about. <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, what are the perks of being a dog handler in the city centre of London then? Um, it, clearly, it's the best job in the force. Yeah. Uh, everybody says it, but I go home with my friends every day. Yeah. Um, I see them more than I see my wife. If you ever have my wife's cooking, you'll understand why I'm more <laughs> with them. Um, are they a better cuddler? I, I'm going to say nothing because she'll clearly watch this. Um, <laughs> But we get into some wonderful places. Obviously, because we're a financial capital of Europe, yeah. we get into some fantastic, iconic places. Uh, and our job, especially with the explosive detection dog, is to deter people that may want to cause us harm. Yeah. So we're out and about in public places with me and my dog uh, in wonderful places like this. You, you can't beat it. You no, can't it's beat fantastic, it. It's wonderful. It? You've got two special dogs, haven't you? Yes. So yeah. are we all right to have a quick look at your absolutely, dogs? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So come with us. Let's have absolutely. a look at these dogs. Five guys down here. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, Ford Focus has got two cages for us. It's got ample storage, uh, and obviously my two colleagues here. Um, today we are carrying a uh, police dog Boyd, who is a five and a half year Black Labrador explosive detection dog. So what's that do then? So to, why is that not a land shark? Why is that not an Alsatian? Um, what's the difference? We do have German Shepherds yep. in the city, but today um, particularly. Um, Monday to Friday is mainly our uh, main capability is explosive detection. Yeah. Uh, anytime the royalty come in the city or VIPs, we do searches for them. Um, also, any military coming into the city, we search for them as well. Any suspicious packages or vehicles or or anything suspicious relating to terrorism, we're here to do the best we can. And that's what your dog does. It, yep. it tries to sniff out, obviously, explosives, anything of that sort of like nature or anything any, that's linked any in with that. Explosives, uh, all the stuff related to explosives as well. So not just explosives itself, but the, the makeup of explosives, Fantastic. he will find. Um, I'm very, very lucky. He, he's got me out to many, many situations <laughs> uh, and I'm, I'm glad I'm with him. I, I, he's a wonderful dog. Absolutely fantastic. And who is the second dog? This one got. is police dog Elvis. He is a four-year-old yellow lab. He's a passive, proactive drug dog. 
uh, the passive side is you may see them at train stations yep. um, where people walk past. And, and as you know, unfortunately, where you find drugs, you'll find knives. Yeah. Um, but not only that, um, in relation to drugs, um, where people turn around as well. Yeah. So we've had uh, war criminals. I've had uh, people return to prison for murder, rape, etc. Um, he's found a gun. He's found umpteen knives. So if we can get one knife off the street, I, I go home at night very happy. Because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to we're cut try down injury, try and make people safe, and then just basically go around and keep everyone happy. That's Absolutely. If, as I said, if we can save one life, then you know I've earned my crust today. Can you give us a myth then about dogmen? Can you quash a myth? Can you, can you say? I will do my best. Right, go on then. So, what's the thing that people want to know about dogs that you think either is not true, or something that you're thinking? Right, I'm going to put this to bed now. Uh, a lot of people think that we get the dog and then we finish work at five o'clock and that's it, the dog goes away. Unfortunately, that is not the case. In fact, fortunately, that's not the case. They come home with us. They live with us. When we're not at work, they're not at work. When we go on holiday, nine times out of ten, if we come, stay in the United Kingdom, we look for somewhere that's dog friendly. So they come with us. They're with us more than with our own family, to be honest. Brilliant. I played with these dogs earlier on. They're absolutely yeah. fantastic, aren't they? Thank you. So does a dog have a warrant card? Uh, no, in the city of London, we don't, no. But it some dogs nice. have warrant cards. Yeah, some have collar numbers and warrant cards. Yeah. Um, but luckily, uh, the law has changed, as you know, with Finn's law recently. Yeah, because it what? Finn's passed away. Yeah, Nana. unfortunately, yeah. 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 Um, so with, with Finn's law, it's um, uh, an offence now to hurt an, a service animal. Yeah. And unfortunately, the, the dog, the work that Elvis does, um, he has been punched and kicked a few times. Right. Uh, and he's, the people have been dealt with robustly. That's disgusting, isn't yeah. it? So, so basically, it's like attacking an officer. It's absolutely. A, it yeah. is now, yeah. It's, a, it's much better now. The law is more on our side come to service animals, yes. Fantastic. So while we're here, we're out to take a seat in your car and see absolutely. what equipment you've got in your car. Yeah, absolutely. Right, come on, let's have a seat in car. Over 150 vehicles are stolen every single day throughout the UK, and these are either stolen by a burglary or keyless entry. I have a Golf GTI, and due to that, I got a ghost immobilizer fitted, so no matter what, in the middle of the night, no one could come into my house or scan my car keys and make off of my vehicle. So everything you need in regards to vehicle theft now, contact Safe and Sound Leads. Everything you want in regards to ghost immobilizers, trackers, or anything to do with vehicle theft, give them a ring. Mark will answer the phone. They'll take some details from you, and it's really easy. They'll fit it either you're at home or your work, and within a couple of hours, it's done. It's insurance approved, so you get a discount on your insurance, um, and then you're going to sleep safely at night in your bed. So if you need anything, contact Safe and Sound at Leeds. Ooh, new Ford Focus, everyone. Ooh. Oh, I'll tell you what. You can tell it's a Ford. It's, um, <laughs> as you can see, as you know, it's all nice and new. It's all nice and clean. Yep. Um, the big thing for us is making sure everything is nearby. Kiss uh, Radio. Uh, is that nearby? It is now. <laughs> <laughs> um, all our light array is, you know, before we had to have two people in the car and I'll, you press that and you press that. Um, there's quite a few things, you know. The, the new thing that we have is the uh, bullhorn. Yep. We've never had that before. Um, and also it, a public address system, which is fantastic yep. for us. Um, as you know, you know, sometimes these cars are not only used for the drugs and explosives, but they're used for um, the land sharks, as you call yep. German shepherds. And the great thing for us is obviously getting the dog out quickly. Yep. Uh, and obviously we have a, a button here that drops the hatch. Yeah. So the officer can open the door, start chasing the suspect. The German Shepherd will come out the back and then sight the person running. And, and go. Yeah, that, and then yeah. not, it's very, very rarely you'll outrun a German Shepherd. Because it's, it's quite hard sometimes when we've been in pursuits, we've stopped a vehicle, the dogman's then got to run to the back of the van, Absolutely. unclip the van, yeah. undo the fence, get the lead yeah. on, when sometimes you can literally press the button, criminals are out giving it legs down the yeah. road and dogs are already off. Absolutely, a absolutely. And um, granted, we don't get it as much in the city, bearing in mind you've got to be so mindful about releasing your dog uh, in the city, you know, anywhere really, because of the other members of the public. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes three, four o'clock in the morning, a uh, burglary suspect comes out, you've pulled up and he's off on his toes, you're out the car, you want your dog right next to you and the hatch is just absolutely Fantastic. wonderful. We've, we've not had that for a while. 
Can I ask, you've got this yes. here, is this a rear sensor for the dog's kennel and know how hot it is absolutely, there for Absolutely, absolutely. Um, the biggest thing for us is make sure that we've got to have air conditioning in this car. Um, come rain or shine, uh, they are number one. Yeah. We have to look after them the first, uh, you know, um, in the first instance. So air conditioning, as you know, it's recently been warm. It's been on today uh, and I'm sure they've been grateful for having yeah. it on because it is a muggy day. Although it's a, a bit overcast, but it does get muggy and they do get hot. Um, we'll clearly open the back as many times as we can, but obviously when we're driving, we get a bit warm in there, yeah. then the air conditioning goes on. That's massively important. Yeah, very we're, much so. We're very much dog lovers and we like them to be comfortable because there's so many dogs that get locked in cars that either pass away or are treated irresponsibly and very you've got so. to make sure your dog's comfortable in the car, especially if it's going to be a working dog yeah. and want to do something for you when they get out because the dogs, let's be honest, they're having fun when they get out. They do. It's a game to them. Yeah. They get out and they think they're playing a game. They don't understand that, uh, you know, this is real life. Um, the harness goes on, they think, oh, we're going to play a game, yet yeah, we're out doing some proper great work. So what equipment do you carry in here and in back? Because you, obviously you look like you're fully stocked out here. What's all this? Um, I wouldn't say rubbish, but what's all, <laughs> what's all the bags in back uh, here for? The big ones be sandwiches. Yep. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, obviously we've got our, uh, a bag with our kit for the, in case we have to deal with any explosive stuff. Yeah. Um, there's certain articles in there that, that we will need. Um, most importantly for us, though, um, uh, sleeves uh, and um, some other stuff that we use to contain a dog. But mostly uh, we've got a great pole um, that... Uh, allows us to hold on to the dog safely yeah. a, a good length of five to six feet. So it keeps you safe It keeps as well. us safe. Yeah. And anybody else, you know, around, we've got control of that dog. Yeah. Um, and then we take the dog to a kennel that's um, a registered kennel to look after it. Fantastic. Just due to the dog being an explosive trained dog, there's tactical gear in the back of the car that I don't actually want to open. I don't want... Uh, people to see Colin's equipment because sometimes that equipment's private it's, it's for your dog it is for the tactical, tactical element of explosive training so that's why we're not opening and let, letting you have a bit of a nosy in there but it is in the back it is there for a reason it's there obviously like I said extendable pole and to keep everybody safe lovely so give us uh, if you could pick any vehicle now to be a dog van or to be a dog car stroke unit what would you like to pick me personally, yeah, you've got to check now, right? Let's try <laughs> Colin and check out. I quite like this, <laughs> right. um, to be honest. I, I do. Um, we've been out uh, without a car for some time and we've had a van. Uh, obviously, with a van, you can't pursue. Um, but uh, my current role, I don't pursue actually, I'm all reactive. Um, but my colleagues, for um, uh, you know, I would say the Je um, German Shepherds are they'd want the fastest car on yeah. the market, I would imagine. So, um, but me personally i quite like this it's, yeah. you know i can put my sandwiches in the back uh, you know i'm more than happy <laughs> so let's just let people know there are two separate dog units or two separate dog vans so we've got a dog unit that you can see that chases after the criminals that actually gets involved in the pursuits the yep. t-pack trained and the part of the um what we say tactical unit of pursuits this is a separate dog unit where you are massively massively proactive so if the kings come in if the, you've got a royal visit you've got a state visit you've got something absolutely they're calling you in and you are the specialist absolutely. of what you do yeah because There's people a... are going to be saying why has he not got a fast car this is not about no i don't that need a aspect. fast car yeah i just need it to be comfortable for my dogs yeah and air conditioning and you know a bit of comfort for the uh, driver as well you know it's all right because we've got to be in here seven eight hours so yeah. we want we need a cup holder yeah so we're going to plug my phone i want to say where is yeah, it? Oh, see, oh, we, cup we need it. we always need yeah, a cup we need holder, a cup holder. <laughs> <laughs> and so I went to plug my phone. As long as I've got to plug my phone in, I'm happy. Right, brilliant. Right, well, thank you very much, Colin. It's no. been an absolutely fantastic thing to see. I love your dogs. And uh, long may continue thank you. for you. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, and follow us for some more videos. And we'll see you next time. So take care and see you later from London.